that's all <laughs> dry hair <laughs> hey y'all so as you can see right here is super dry it's been like this for like a week so yeah so i'm gonna get out a clay mask so we can revive it and get it back to its juiciness so I'm using these two, my favorite, and I'm just gonna mix equal parts in a bowl. Plastic bowl and a plastic stirrer. Don't use metal. Then I put in the powder first. Now I'm putting in the apple cider vinegar. Make sure you recycle your jars. I have a second one here. It's fizzing right now. I'm gonna start mixing. So this is extremely soupy. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix in some more powder. Just a little bit more. Make sure you shake your apple cider vinegar before you pour it because it'll have the mother, like the stuff at the bottom. So just shake it real good until everything's blended. Here I added some powder. It's still soupy. Okay, almost there. So I'm gonna just put in a little bit more clay. Okay, this is this is a good, a good uh, consistency for me. Okay, so I put a towel down. So now let's get to the hair. I'm gonna fill this up with warm water. Okay, so we have this and I have my clips. You'll notice they have metal on them. So I'm gonna be careful and make sure the clay doesn't touch them. And you'll just see like, it's just the part, the hair that doesn't have clay on it yet. But like once I put clay on it, I won't be putting the clips on it. Ooh, this is bad. Ooh, I'm gonna try to be gentle in part. I'm trying to make two big sections up front, like how I normally do. Hold it in. Hopefully this doesn't break. <laughs> Cause our hair is so voluminous right now because it's so dry. Okay, other side. I'm gonna try to make a row in the back. Okay, so let's just rinse the section. Or at least put some water on it and smooth the water in, of course. Definitely use warm water because cool water won't moisturize your hair. Maybe we should just spray down the whole back first. And then smooth that water in, squeeze it in. My hair is squeaking, rejecting the water right now. This is bad right here. I'm pulling out shedded hairs too. This is all just from water. Spread it all down. Part this out now. And apply the mask. So this is how the mask looks now after it has set. And you see it's like a little fluffy, which is good. So let's go ahead. We're gonna apply it to the roots and then smooth down. Just covering the area. a lot of shitty hairs on my fingers right now. Alright, so the back row is done. So we're going to move on to the next.
if you use any towel, the clay will come out in the washer. Just don't use white because it may be stained. Or we'll use any color except white and it will come out in the wash. Okay, so you see the curls are just clumping so nicely. Making sure the roots are getting clumped as well. I can show you the back. Squeeze that water in. All right, and then follow up with the clay. I'm glad I have a towel down because there's water splashing right now and probably a little clay falling. All right, smooth it in. Again, make sure you're raking it in and raking it through your roots. Be gentle on your ends, of course. Looks like a wash and go. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> my neck yeah you will get dirty in the ear and neck let me clean it we got half our head done so now let's do the other half also like your shirt and stuff make sure your shirt isn't white definitely make sure it's a color all right so again look at this y'all look at the difference of my dry hair and my clay mask here Look at the curls hanging. Where they come from? Where the hang top? Where the hang time come from? <laughs> Alright, y'all, the camera's overheating. Come on up. Come on. Let me spray this down. The camera is overheating. I can barely see what is even going on because it, it done darkened the um screen. But yeah, yo, I saw the hang time. Hang time. Is it hang time or hang Tom? <laughs> I learned a word in public school. I don't even know the correct word. It's hang time or hang Tom. But yeah. Put it on the roots first. I'm only going fast because the camera's about to turn off because it's overheating. Oh, because I don't have the fan on. I don't have the fan on because I want y'all to hear me without all that noise. Because I heard it in the other videos. I was like, they probably don't like that. So, ouch, don't go this fast, don't move this fast, it hurts, it hurts. So all this hair came from that one section, all this. I'm gonna finish this side, cut the camera off, let it cool down, turn the fan on, and then I'm gonna come back for the other side. Okay, y'all, <laughs> so I'm done this side, and now we're on this side, and as you can see, there's nothing holding my hair up. That's all. <laughs> dry hair <laughs> oh now the battery's dying one second so i have the fan on this time but y'all can see the hang time hang time hang time and then we have this so let's go ahead and finish her you gotta be really delicate when separating this hair <laughs> i'm running out of water this water looks so good because I'm thirsty. <laughs> oh, let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. Spray it up. Smooth it down. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, from just spraying it. This is how much I have left still. I think this is enough. I think I'll have enough left over. If I didn't have on makeup, I would put on some as a face mask too. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite CDs as a face mask as well. I don't know if I have the roots. They feel dry. Now some people wonder about the smell. I think it smells good for the most part. I must be used to the scent. Yeah, I must be used to the scent, but it's like a spicy apple scent, like a sour apple to me. And it also depends on how old your ACV is. I feel like the older it is, I don't know, the spicier it smells. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is no longer a bang. Y'all remember how my hair used to look? That stuff used to look bad. <laughs> but I have come a long way. And I can turn it from this I look right now to this. That's just practice, y'all. Training it. This is getting a little too low, so I'm gonna refill it with warm water again. But yeah, so we refilled this. So let's spray it up. Actually, I don't let my hair get like this. 
But when I get like a lazy weed, it's gonna get like this. Sorry to this hair. <laughs> it's not taking it in yet. It's not soaking it in yet. I'm gonna re-wet it. And how do I know? Cause it just feels so voluminous and fluffy. But I gotta work it in. And now it's starting to take it. The hairs, the shed of hairs coming out. They hurt because I didn't detangle. All right, last bit. So you don't want to mix oils into this, y'all. It's not going to help with what we're trying to accomplish today. Some people use it for other purposes. Today's purpose is to revive dry, old, natural hair. Revive and redefine. The oil would not be helpful at this moment because right now I'm using it as a cleanser, not anything else. All right, now let's work it in. I don't know how it works if you would warm up apple cider vinegar, then mix it in. Like, I don't know if it'll mess up the components and stuff. I'm not a scientist. But if you did warm it up, I wouldn't warm it up in a microwave. I would warm it up like in a bowl under hot water or on top of hot water. Hairs galore. I'm trying to finger comb through these tangles up front. I don't have to get every single tangle because when I rinse this out and apply the deep conditioner, I'll be doing the same thing, raking my fingers and pulling the shed of hairs out. All right, so every piece of hair is covered. Get your ears and stuff, earrings. This is how we're looking way different from when we first started. Let me put it side by side. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna let it dry for like 10 more minutes, then rinse it out with warm water. Then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so it has been 10 minutes and it's dry for the most part. Looks like a wash and go. So I'm gonna rinse this out and then we're gonna put in our deep conditioner. All right, so this is how we're looking afterwards. So juicy. I'm using two today because they're both running out. Honey and sage deep conditioner and health hydration hair mask. Both black owned, two different companies. Let me just put it all around the perimeter first. I like to just soak up the water. I usually do this over the tub. My hair feels super clean. Okay. So let's apply this. Oh, my hair is squeaky clean. It's squeaking in my hands. Applying the mask and it's going right in the hair because my hair is so clean. Oh, this moves right in. I like this. I definitely love honey. Honey's handmade and um, Alake Naturals. Oh, just imagine how my hair used to look 30 minutes ago. Oh, was it 30 minutes ago? Or more like an hour ago. Wow, my hair is gonna be soft. Ooh. Okay, front is done. I'm getting better at this. All right, and now let's get the back. And notice how the hair was so juicy. I didn't have to spray it with water because I didn't use my towels to soak up the water. I just let the water stay on my hair. This one's almost done. The sage one is done. Okay, <laughs> my hair is looking healthy. Again, flashback to what we used to look like. Okay. So we got the, the edges, you know, smothered. <laughs> so I'm gonna let this sit. Use, I don't know what the container says, but 10 minutes is probably good, especially after a clay mash. I'm gonna let it sit for a while and soak into the hair. <laughs> then I'm gonna rinse it out with warm water. Okay, y'all, the conditioner has been sitting for quite a while, so I'm gonna rinse it out. Okay, so now we're gonna twist it. I'm twisting with just my favorite butter, my newest favorite butter. I like King Natural Shea Yogurt. It smells like a fresh mango drink or something. Just showing the final twist as I'm gonna twist it. Hey y'all, it's the next day, so let's take these down. I 
I just wanted to stretch my hair for a hairstyle, so that will be the next video. But yeah, my hair is no longer dry now. Everything I use is linked down below. Thumbs up this video. Check out more like this on my channel, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.